or you're just gonna act like they don't exist and then your your kids are gonna be surprised pikachu facing when they find out that they do i guess Pencil column right by by th that that tweet signifies all of them right it's othering if you don't agree with us then you are a member of an out group it is treating people as though they are bizarre and exterior if they and it is moralizing you are not loving and you are not good unless you use the sort of language that we want you to use even if that language is actually counter to reality counter to biology and counter to the ability to communicate clear ideas so they put out this this tweet and it has several graphs i feel like his transphobia has gotten weaker though like the more there's like acceptance around trans people, the more he has to like change his rhetoric. Like back in the day, he was straight up like, you know, uh, he would say a trigger warning. I'm going to say some transphobic shit right now. But like back in the day, he would straight up say shit like you are a man or you're, you know, you have a mental disability. And now he's like, it's just too confusing and I cannot understand it. And it's hurting my feelings. And it's like, it almost feels like he is wrestling with uh like maybe more trans acceptance that's like occurring around him or something you know what i mean why are you saying trigger warning omega law i'm just trying to be more accommodating like give me don't be a dick don't be a fucking dick trigger warning omega law we're literally watching a a, a hobbit fucking lose his mind over a, a cartoon that is like teaching gender pronouns uh from cartoon network who who is the triggered one you think Oh, fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> this motherfucker. I saw your transphobic were accidentally misgendering, but also trigger warning Omega Law. Graphics of cartoon characters. One cartoon character says gender pronouns. Hold on, I gotta hit you with a fucking ad, though. I gotta hit you with that ad, though. Top of the hour, every hour, six second ad break. Right now. One minute ad. This has to be internalized transphobia. He wants to come out as a trans woman so badly. Like, I just, I've never, I don't understand how you can fucking, like, how, how are you so bent, dude? At a certain point, if you're this fucking mad about trans people all the time, like, it can't be healthy for you. People are so upset with pronouns, it's actually insane. You'd like to know what people will think about 2020 and 2050. Let's say hypothetically, trans people hurt my feelings. <laughs> oh, dude, it's not even a show, dude. It's a fucking Twitter account, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. Describe a person's gender identity. Another one says examples of pronouns are she, her, they, them, and she, sure. A third character says a lot of people are learning about gender. If you're comfortable, you can share your own gender pronouns. And then it says underneath gender pronouns. We can't tell someone's gender just by looking at them and shouldn't assume we know. Wait. This motherfucker knows how to say Zizer, Zizer. Is that what he said? Wait, did yeah, he say that right? Because cool, I, I don't know how to say that. For the, for the record. So does Ben Shapiro? So Ben Shapiro knows more about neo pronouns than I do? Like he, he like, like he literally did the research so he could shit on it. Like what the fuck? Has he, <laughs> I finished my first semester of law school today. So I don't I care about this stupid streaming Thank cow. You what? My emotional support himbo through it all. Cartoon Network tells children there are multiple genders. Yeah, the title of the video is hilarious in and of itself because there's only one gender, you fools. <laughs> and that's male. Happy 2021, baby. It's the year of the male, baby. What's the point you always make? He knows more about this than SJWs do. Yeah, like, I don't even fucking know what neo pronouns are and I, I, I just don't understand it. And like, I haven't even touched it. And this motherfucker over here knows how to say it correctly? Like... twenty twenty, the year of Ws. There are many gender identities beyond girl or boy. Some people don't identify as any gender. Okay, this is just indoctrination into nonsense because there is no biological basis to this. It's just semantic game playing. But it's not about actually making the world a better place. It's about in-group signaling that you are a member of the loving woke.
Okay, that's what Cartoon like, Network is doing right that? there. And if you refuse to speak the language, then you are cast out into the outer darkness. And this sort of language characterizes everything that is happening in our politics. But, but like, this is literally, like, to be more accommodating. Like, they're just trying to... Like, Ben's the type of dude who complains about people being not understanding while simultaneously doing everything he can in his power to make sure that people don't understand as well. While we know, now at least, that he understands it because he's at least done the research so he can shit on it better. Like, my man has studied the blade, motherfucker. Like, he is literally, while you are out getting pussy, okay, or dick, or, you know, non-binary pussy uh, uh, or dick, whatever. He was studying the fucking blade. Like, he knows more about, like, uh, gender theory than, than most people on the and left do. In it like it just so he could be like, I am outraged and agitated. Transgender pride, love you, chat. But he's like searching the newest stuff. Hey, the new gender dropped. <laughs> Shit's fire, bro. I'm about to get so mad. He's like, yo, I, I just so mad, dude. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Gender's so good, they did gender too, bro. Oh, my God. Right now, Gavin Newsom, yesterday, he was tweeting out about the Trump administration saying it would be cutting $200 million in federal health care funding to California because the state requires insurance providers to cover abortions, right? Which is a normal political issue. You'll see Democrats attempt to hold back funds based on pro-life positions. You'll see Republicans attempt to hold back funds based on anti-life positions. Here's Gavin Newsom's tweet. Nothing like the pro-life party eliminating health care during a global pandemic. California will survive without this dollars for now, but their frail, pathetic, patriarchal system, they are so desperate to protect won't. Right? That is Ugh. It's like, I just, I know he's such a shark. Like, this is so dumb. I, uh, uh, like, damn, dude, Gavin Newsom only cares about abortions because, you know, he's just trying to, trying to get a couple baby mamas uh, to, to get abortions. It's just, uh, this is so fucked up that, like, the Trump administration is doing this. The fact that Ben Shapiro is more upset at Gavin Newsom Uh, using the word patriarchal to describe accurately that the Trump administration on a last-ditch effort is just trying to fucking, uh, you know, uh, trying to fuck over uh, California any which way they can is is crazy to me. Ugh, I just, I can't, I can't give him a dub. Uh, It's Gavin Newsom. But they're frail, pathetic, patriarchal system they are so desperate to protect won't right that is that is in group signaling when he uses the word patriarchal you might say to yourself wait gavin newsom is a dude isn't he yes he is you might say isn't he the governor of california you know the head of that system yes he is you might say well isn't that system why wasn't that created by men the one that he's taking advantage of yes it is fucking fuck oh dude fuck he's so good He's so fucking good, dude. Wait, where is the fucking... Uh, okay, dude. Hold on. Where, where? I need to play it. I need to play it. I need to play it. How to own every leftist. Where is that video? I heard you just went through a bad breakup. Use this to get an ice cream Sammy on me. Remember Does anyone have that video? Someone, let them free. No, you know, you, you, you know what video I'm talking about. How to own every leftist argument. Come on, we watched it the other day. Bro, you're in reacting. I just, I need it. I need it in Stop my fucking... Yes, yes, text. thank you, thank you. Thank you, dude. America. Fuck, for a second Here's I thought the- we weren't going to have this. Oh, God. How does this only have 44,000 views, by the way? It's crazy. It's like the greatest video on the internet. Ben Shapiro just did that. It's Here, not about, watch, watch. You might say, isn't he the governor of California? You know, the head of that system? Yes, he is. You might say, well, isn't that system? Like, wasn't that created by men, the one that he's taking advantage of? Yes, it is. It's not about that. It's about signaling to everybody. The actual distribution of wealth in America. The poorest Americans don't even register. They're down to pocket change. 
Venezuela. That was so good, dude. Fuck, every leftist all around the planet just got owned simultaneously. Everybody else, he speaks the lingo. The lingo, again, that secret knock, the lingo is terms like patriarchal, terms like systemic injustice, Terms like G, Z, 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 M, whom, him, them, whom. Right? All of this crap is designed for one thing and one thing only, and that is to create life, a, a secret handshake of, of the upper crust. That's what that is. The, the sort of in-group woke signaling does drive a reverse signaling on the part of the right. But that signaling used to be stuff that people sort of considered rote and uncontroversial. So, for example, the left is very angry today because David Perdue and Kelly Loeffler, both the senators from Georgia, who are in very competitive runoff races right now, opposed renaming the Atlanta Braves. And people are like, why are they even commenting on this? The answer is because this is also a form of in-group signaling. This is signaling to their own constituents that they are not a member of the woke elite class. Right? They are not going to speak that language. So a counter language has formed in rejection of this language. Now, I'm not saying they're wrong because they're not. I totally agree with them. I don't think that the Atlanta Braves is an insulting name. I don't think the Cleveland Indians was an insulting name. I mean, even if you want to make the case that the Washington Redskins was an insulting name, which again is controversial and I don't really agree with, even if you want to make that case, there's a world of separation between using the term redskin and using the term Indians, Braves, or like Kansas City Chiefs, right? That you can see the difference on its face. Three of those terms cannot even be construed as, as derogatory toward a particular group of people. Okay, but the, the idea here from Leffler and Purdue is this is, again, a form of in-group social signaling. It, it is saying that the wokes should not be able to take away sort of common items that we used to hold in common. So Leffler and Purdue released a joint statement on Monday. They said, not only are the Braves a Georgian institution with a history spanning 54 years in Atlanta, they're an American institution. So I'm not going to do this. And maybe I'm wrong. But I am willing to bet. Has Judd has left. When did the Redskins change their name? Ben Shabibo knowing how to say pronouns. Never mind, it was place. in 1992. Wait. This year? Wait, is it is it no longer? They changed their name this year? Literally four months ago? Wait, then there is definitely video on, on the Redskin name change and how he was probably against it. Wait, hold on. Just warrior nonsense from the world of sports. The Washington Redskins have renamed. They're now called the Washington football team. I'm not kidding. That's a real thing. Redskins, it wasn't just that the term Redskins was offensive. Now, again, there are polls that have been done over the past 10 years. It shows the Native Americans did not care about this issue. There was a poll done about seven years ago. It showed nine out of 10 Native Americans did, not only didn't care, they actually kind of thought that the name was, was cool because you had a bunch of people the who were actually rooting for a zero. team named after Native Americans. But the Washington Redskins were pressured because of George Floyd or something into removing the name. Okay, fine. I understand. Like, you think that one's offensive. But here's the problem. There is no limiting principle to renaming anything that could possibly be found offensive. It is saying that the wokes should not be able to put its face. Three of those terms cannot even be construed as, as derogatory toward a particular group of people. Okay, but 
the, the idea here from Leffler and Purdue is this is, again, a form of in-group social signaling. It, it is saying that the wokes should not be able to take away sort of common items that we used to hold in common. Hold on. So Leffler and Purdue released a joint statement on Monday. They said, not only are the Braves a Georgian institution with a history spanning 54 years in Atlanta, they're an American institution. The Braves name honors our nation's Native American heritage, which should not be erased. Under no circumstances should one of the most celebrated teams in sports cave to the demands of the cancel culture and the radical left. Only 20% of Georgia voters surveyed said they believe that the baseball team needs to change its name. More than 70% of voters say the name. Didn't he just say, didn't he just say like the, Red, the Redskins is a derogatory so I understand. It is saying that the wokes should not, and I don't really agree with, even if you want to make Washington Redskins was an insulting name, which again is controversial and I don't really agree with. Even if you want to make that case, was an insulting name, which again is an insulting name. I, mean, I don't think that the Atlanta Braves is an insulting name. I don't think the Cleveland Indians was an insulting name. I mean, even if you want to make the case that the Washington Redskins was an insulting name, which again is controversial and I don't really agree with. Oh, uh, I, I, okay, sorry. I, I thought he was literally, I thought he had changed his mind and saying like, you know, Redskins is not an insulting name. I thought he was, I thought he was saying, I, I don't think Redskins, like, I think he, Redskins is an insulting name. And then here he is like criticizing uh, a couple months back. If Ben Shapiro's mouth were a stream, we'd all be hitting that 1.2 terabyte limit like a day. Dude, it's only the Washington football team currently because they're trying to buy the rights to a name that is owned by a private collector. They got cucked. One of their own fans who saw this coming and bought 12,000 potential copywriters to names to resell to them and fuck them. It's such a funny story. Yeah, that's what a shark. Redskins is a incredibly fucking racist name. It is remarkable. He talks way too fast for Hassan's brain can't comprehend. Oh, easy enough. Three months sub. Yeah, that was the issue. Not that he kept going positive slash negative to explain. Yeah, he's like, oh, uh, yeah, he used a double negative to describe it, but. Even if you want to make that case, there's a world of separation between using the term Redskins and, and using the term Indians, Braves, name. or like Kansas City Chiefs, right? That you can see the difference on its face. Three of those terms cannot even be construed as, as derogatory toward a particular group of people. Okay, but the, the idea here from Leffler and. Well, he is admitting that Redskins is like a derogatory term. Like, he's literally admitting that it is a... So he is. He understands it now. Which was... The argument that I was going to make is this, okay? He's admitting that it's controversial. Except back then, when the name was changing, he was like, no, fuck that, this is bullshit. Now, the reason why... The reason why I say this is because... Ben is a shark. He's not like, and most conservatives are this way, of course, especially smart ones. He's doing this because he has to. Like when things change, smarter conservatives like Ben Shabino don't continue fucking being homophobic, for example. They switch over to transphobia. Just like when the name change happens your for hassle, Redskins, your hassle. at first he, you know, riles people up. And then once it's a given that the name has been changed, then he turns it back to, 
you know, the other stuff, like, oh, the, the Braves, that, that's not offensive. You know, I get that Redskins could be offensive, maybe. It could be controversial. But, uh, you know, the Braves, that's not controversial. Like, and tomorrow, if something else changes, he will probably move on to that and be like, okay, well, they changed Braves, which is fine. Um, I understand why they had to do that. Like, he's just, he just moves on. Like, he, he just moves with progress, that, which is inevitable. Ben will consistently passes. fucking move along with it. Slowly but surely updating his patch notes, I guess. Or updating his, getting patch, uh, getting patched up. Only to, you know, improve his bigotry. And, and adjust it to uh, his own, whatever is like acceptable. And Purdue is, this is again, a form of in-group social signaling. It is saying that the wokes should not be able to take away sort of common items that we used to hold in common. So Leffler and Purdue released a joint statement on Monday. They said, not only are the Braves a Georgian institution with a history spanning 54 years in Atlanta, they're an American institution. The Braves name honors our nation's Native American heritage, which should not be erased. Under no circumstances should one of the most celebrated teams in sports cave to the demands of the cancel culture and the radical left. Only 20% of Georgia voters surveyed said they believe that the baseball team needs to change its name. More than 70% of voters say the name should be kept. That is one of the reasons why they are making that move. And that, that's one of the reasons they're saying this sort of stuff. Because so much of our culture war is reliant on this linguistic semantic war. The, the language is reflective of the deeper culture war that is taking place. I hope you enjoy. I don't even know what the fuck's going on with the Braves. But like, who gives a fuck, dude? Yo, why don't you radicalize some bitches, Ben Shapiro? I, I don't... I, I don't even know what the fuck is happening. What is the Braves? God, it's like, it's like no one, and I mean absolutely zero people can like change their fucking name without Ben Shapiro uh, catching wind of it. He will fucking kill you. Like he will. Like why, what? What are what are Republicans doing? Like who gives a shit, man? Atlanta Braves are a professional baseball team. Okay. I'm really starting to hate that these people run the news, man. Get rid of it. Lil Nas X tells pregnant fan to get abortion, then taunts pro-life group about it. Oh, I can't wait for them to say this is anti-Semitic because Ben Shapiro's Jewish. Oh, this is immediate, dude. Yo, th I mean, this is funny. And baseball is a shit sport. Oh, God. I'm glad it had work stoppages. I'm surprised that. Fusers should be able to sharpie on eyebrows are starting to affect his capacity to create content about reasonable grievances. The news is not a homogenous group. The Daily Wire is a right wing media outlet run by assholes. There are also people in the news out there that are doing great and important work. Yeah, right, dude. I'm the only one. Just kidding. What? This is not real. Na Pfizer, tá bem claro lá no contrato. Nós não nos responsabilizamos por qualquer efeito colateral. Se você virar o o chip, virar o jacaré, é problema de você, pô. Lá. What? Is it lefties give a shit about sports? Yeah, I don't give a fuck about sports, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I can't get myself to care. I also don't know why the fuck people are mad. Help me, this guy's literally killing thousands daily. Yo, we got our own, dude. What are you talking about?
The vaccines were an imprint ploy all along. He's like 19 and he's funny as fuck. He follows me, but I I've DM'd him in the past to come on, but he's like, um, actually maybe he might come on now. Now I got more fucking clout. Now I'm clouded up, dude. <sighs> Chances are he's doing this to avoid a scandal. We don't have enough supplies for those vaccines. Oh fuck, as a present, I'm sorry we have this stupid dumb shit. Not like your dumb shit isn't pretty much the same though. Yeah, he's pretty... Maybe before the cyberpunk phase? Yeah, fuck off, bitch. Right wingus thing he world is fine. Please do P.O. Box. You, you know what? Fuck it, dude. Hey, to the loyalists, dude. It's time for the P.O. Box. Let's do it. I'm going to do it now. There's a lot of fucking stuff. I'm going to wait till tomorrow. You know what? You guys have stayed up this entire time. I'm going to do the fucking P.O. Box, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Fucking do it. Let me tweet out that I'm doing it. No one at this hour is going to come in anyway. Don't worry about it. Oh, I forgot to run an ad at the top of the hour, didn't I? Oh, no, I did run the ad, I think. Fuck, I don't know. Let's go.
It's time for the P.O. Box, folks. Let's do it. Okay. Let's get started. This is from XVX Colin. I got a lot. I got a lot today. I got a lot of P.O. Box today. I, I didn't do it over the weekend. So this is over. This is like almost two weeks worth of P.O. Box stuff. Let's get started. XVX Colin has sent me the wildest shit in the past, so. Hi. Ugh. Oh my god, this dude is still tweeting, uh, writing about the Bad Bunny thing. Important, this was nothing to do with you. Bad Bunny had good points that made me reconsider my chatting. I don't want Chad to hate her now. She didn't kick that other guy out. He left when she roasted him for his comment, as she did mine. It was the first time in her chat, and I asked if she if she thought you were cute, and, she, and he said, I don't think Bunny likes Hassan. Bro, what are you guys doing, bro? Get the fuck out of here, dude. All right. Hassan, there are more political toys. Don't open these. Enjoy the book. This is not vegan propaganda. Mod check, question mark, XVX Colin. Send me a Merry Christmas. Wait, don't open these. What are these like? The 1980 Afghan International Afghan Heroin Syndicate. Syndicate. Al Muktabar, the tester. In December 1979. In the midst of the Cold War, the Soviet 40th Army invaded Afghanistan in order to prop up the Communist government of the People's Democratic Party of Afghanistan against a growing insurgency. At the time, the United States had been making headway in the Middle East at Moscow's expense. Expense outmanned and outgunned back by the CIA Afghanistan used the only profitable crop to support the war. Heroin lives among the fields along with many others, a protector of the, pl of the plant, a murderer, a junkie, always the first to try the final product. What the fuck? This is crazy, dude. That's a... Yo, is this like... Comandante Narcos. File name Delegate Zero. Uh, code name Subcomandante Marco. The Zapatista. Rafael Sebastian Guilén Vicente is a Mexican insurgente and former military leader and spokesperson for the Zapatista Army of Nacional Liberación, EZLN, in the ongoing Chiapas conflict. Widely known by his nom de guerre as Subcomandante Marcos, he has recently used several other pseudonyms. He referred to himself as Delegate Zero during the 2006 Mexican presidential campaign. In May 2014, he adopted the name of his dead comrade, Peter Galeano, naming himself Subcomandante Galeano instead. What the? Bird is the word. Ultra violence, Kozik. This is not a toy. Toys fail to meet all safety require. Fails to meet all safety requirements for external use only. Not recommended for humans of any age. Do not attempt to purchase. Happiness will not ensue. Collecting is a disease. Sculpted by George Gaspar. The watermelon pimp. Dead Che. Oh my god. Another Animal Liberation by Peter Singer book. Thank you, XVX Colin. But jokes on you. 
because I do not know how to read. I found the only part where it, it has like photos. Here's a picture of a veal. Indoctrinate me with uh, vegan propaganda right after I have my cheeky tendies. You're my favorite streamer, and I think I've learned more about politics from you than anyone else outside of public education. Here's to another two months. I think this one's from the, the score. what they sent uh. holy shit this is heavy as fuck dude oh my god oh my god like and subscribe award oh my god Bro. Bro, dude, this is the first time. It's the first time I've ever gotten an award, like a, like a literal physical award, dude. Holy shit, this is sick as fuck. And it's heavy as fuck. I just want to... I just want to say thank you to the Academy. Shouts out to shouts out to the score esports for sending me this like and subscribe award uh 2020. Hopefully, you know. 2020 was a great year for for uh not many people, but I'm glad that I was able to put together this wonderful community. This award is for you. All of you, you guys are the real winners here. Uh, here's to a better 2021. Thank you to my mommy, especially. There it is. First Twitch sub ever Twitch daddy and I'm down for another. This one's from the H, the HIV. What? Oh! Oh, I know what this is. The H, uh, Y, V. I know what this is. I don't know why it came today or now, but. That's crazy, dude. Look at this. Fucking yeah, but still, dude. Hey, look at that. Yeah, but still, it's a, uh, it's my friends, uh, it's, it's Brandon Wardell and Jack Wagner's podcast. I guess they made drip. Just one of those is $65. Good to know. Be somewhere safe. Okay, this shit looks like a Toblerone. Take a look at what this is. 
Is it cropped? No, it's not cropped. Wrong triangle shape to be a Toblerone? Are you a fucking Toblerone expert? How the fuck do I open this? Tobler owned. What is this, a puzzle? Like, how are you supposed to open this? What? I can't tell if it popped or not. I can't tell if it was like a, like a. I remember the days when you didn't even have a PO box and now look at us, Pog. It's a poster. Oh no. Oh no, it's a poster. Dude, I'm such a monka, dude. Uh-oh. Are you a large or an X-Large? I'm a double XL. That's my preference, but I can fit into an XL too. But I like it. I like wearing things large, especially because I'm fat right now. Let's see, let's see what kind of rat porn this is. Is it a good rat porn? What? Trump University, to all whom these presents shall come, greeting be it known that Hassan Piker, having honorably fulfilled all the requirements imposed by the authorities of this institution, the president and the trustees of Trump University, upon recommendation of the faculty, do therefore confer the degree of Master of Twitch Streaming with all the honors and privileges to that degree appertaining. We did it. Uh, call me Dr. Piker because I just got my fucking doctorate in push streaming. Dude, I'm winning a lot of awards today. Masters, doctorate, same shit. Who cares? I'm really going to trigger the fuck out of the PhDs with that. Dude, whoa, come on, dude. Fucking blue mega hat, dude. Okay, who did this? Hassan, I love you. Thank you for getting me involved with your wonderful community and my local DSA chapter, as well as expanding my thoughts and content. Love you all. My politics, my hashtag politics and hashtag history frogs. Happy holidays from way to go. Way to go. Bro, these dudes, like, the people that made this, do they not realize, like, this is literally MAGA? Like, do they not realize that they... No, the DSA member got me this because they are doing this ironically. Like, made America great already? Dude, this is so fucking... God, this shit is so stupid, dude. Democrats are so dumb. Oh my god, dude.
castle. Thicker mule. By the way, I have two big bags <laughs> full of fucking dude. Yo, opening boxes is a is. A... Opening boxes is literally just the hardest fucking thing. I would swipe right on I would swipe on right Kimberly Guilfoyle so fast her head would spin the worst part about this the worst part about this is that I spell I wrote it wrong Thank God it's not Kyle's hungry tweet, if you know what I mean. Feeling real hungry on that day, dude. Hey, Kyle, who's hungry? Yeah. I'm hungry. Oh, fuck. Dumb good. Don't these guys make sick ass shit? Let's see what this is. Damn, this is like actually nice packaging. Evangelion, dude. Dumb good makes like uh really sick licensed stuff. Oh. Look at that. Thank you. No, no. I turned my back on this community for a second and weebs are already going crazy, dude. You look like a massive weeb. Cause I, weebs are not welcome. Okay. You chill the fuck out. Evangelion, dude, weaves out. Okay, I got a bunch of letters in the mail. This is, there's a lot of letters today. Can't wait to read all of your horrible handwriting, by the way. It's gonna be exciting. This one is from Phoebe. Take a look. This is a very nice package. Hi, Arjun.
Got a bunch of shirts in here. Okay. Aw, look at this. Hassan, thank you for all of your content, especially throughout these past few months. Both shirts I have hand-painted for you. I think you once mentioned that Leon the Professional was one of your favorite films, hence the milk carton and plant. Both are fine to be machine-washed and dried. I hope you love them. Happy holidays. Wow, take a look. Okay. That's one. How do you even do this? That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Phoebe. Okay, we got more t-shirts. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have too many t-shirts, dude. Hey, Zon, I sent this on behalf of all the Irish chatters in the chat. We love you, but the accent is Pago. Wait, hold on. Oh, I was from there. Hey, Zon! We sent this on behalf of all the Irish chatters in chat. We love you, but the accent is Pago! Thanks for all the quality streams during COVID. Hope you can visit Ireland after COVID. From Aaron, aka Young Ag in the chat back in radical irish oh my god what the fuck is this relax with the goodness That's nice. I fuck with, I fuck with Guinness, dude. All right, we got another T-shirt. Son, I'm making a song for you. Can you say Hasanabi heads? Hasanabi heads. Oh my god. Two months more or I don't know who this is from. Is this soda merch? It's actually sick. Wait, but it's from Oh no, it is from Teespring. Actually pretty good merch. shit why'd you say rude gift another another t-shirt bro you guys you guys are all just sending me hella shirts dude a gift message for you the gift message is hustle azan, hustle azan, hustle azan, and it just repeats that over and over again. I'm gonna read every single one of them. Let's see what this is. We stole a jack, steal the vote. Okay, this is perhaps the dumbest one I've gotten so far. Thank you. I don't know who this is from, but... Uh... M, 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 Hazan. I 
sent the shirt I forgot to put my name on it. I thought it would go well with the extra small hat I sent you before. Oh, there's a back part! There's a back of it! Back of it says... Malarkey! Dude, how do I have more merchandise for political campaigns and political figures that I despise more than political campaigns and political figures that I love? It's so funny. This is a Japanese anime sissy made dress. Okay, dude, I bought the biggest size Asia 5XL. I was able to. I hope that with this, you can be complete your femboy wardrobe and give us a future us left is deserved. Signed, a Canadian who spent too much on a meme from Dylan the Marmot. Okay, well, I'm not going to even... It doesn't even show what it is, but I'm not going to wear it, so... Yeah, good job. No. It's not happening, but hey, thanks. How do I unsub? Maybe one day. From Miami deals. This one is rather light. For how big of a fucking box it is. Mavala, Switzerland. Stop for healthy and beautiful fingernails. Helps avoid putting fingers in your mouth. Fingers in your mouth? I am 23 years old and I've been biting my fingernails for as long as I can remember. This has been helping me lose the urge to bite them. They taste so bitter that it will counter reflexes of putting hands in your mouth. From JR Bob 66 in chat. No. Maybe one day for funsies we'll do that. Women's striped thigh high over knee stocking socks. Hey, Hassan, I figure you with the colder months coming up, and since you only have shorts, you have to keep your legs warm and clothes are some programming socks that are also allowed as streaming socks. Also, if not fit, give Will N from Dylan the Marmot. Thank you, Dylan the Marmot, for getting me a thigh high. Pro what is a programming sock? Isn't that what I was joking about? Is that a Reddit meme? Hi, Asan. Just wanted to wish you a happy Christmas, so I hope this reaches you in time. Stay safe. Stay safe. Sending love from the UK. Kim. This is sick. Radical leftist. Radical liberal Raphael Pipo Warnock. Has, Pipo has, Pipo has. Okay, some of these are dope. Thank you, Kim. Bro, I literally never wear the same shirt ever again. Or never have to wear the same shirt ever again at this stage. What the fuck is this? Black mullet wig. Bro, how are you gonna send me a fucking mullet wig and then not follow through for the who it is that sent it or send me a fucking notification for why you sent it? Like, I don't have the mustache anymore, dude. Too late. Ew. Ew.
kind of gnarly, dude. If I still had the mustache, this would have been sick. I could have just done this. I could have just done, you know, one of these, like. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Hank Parker. That's why I rock the mullet. Business up front, but party in the back, folks. Look at my luscious locks. I got my gas station skin tight Oakleys. And I'm ready to go. All right, let's keep going. You are doctor does respect. Yes. I am Mr. Respectful, folks. I am. I'm Mr. Respectful. I, I am a doctor myself. I got a PhD, but it doesn't matter. And I do not make people call me doctor. Well, partially because I only have a master's. In Twitch streaming from Trump University. I'm Mr. Respectful, folks. All right, let's keep moving. We got one more bag full of stuff to go through. These have been extra. These some of these have been extra bad today. This one is a package from AJ. Hello, as I'm vegan, but these snacks are not enjoy, brother. Vegan lens. 
Yen Yen, chocolate cream. Fun animal game with on each stick. What is this? What 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 are where is this from? Oh, donkey putty. This is Turkish. Maltesers. I fucking love these, dude. These are dank as fuck. Okay. More yan yan, but this time was strawberry, which I love, by the way. Big fan of strawberry. Oh my god. Biskrem. That's another Turkish one. Bro, what the fuck? Milky Way. I haven't seen one of these in a very long time. Where is this coming from, dude? Probis protein biscuit. This is a protein. This is like a protein cookie, dude. Aero. It's aerated milk chocolate. Blake. From Cadbury, the UK. The crumbliest, flakiest milk chocolate. Mars. Oh, I haven't seen that. And Bounty. I haven't seen that in a very long... Wait, do these... They have these in America too, don't they? Metro! Some of these are like European candies that you can get in Turkey. Oh my god, this fucking wig is shedding everywhere, dude. Bore? I've never even had this. This is a Turkish one that I... I this is after me. And another Milky Way. Vegan Lens, thank you so much. This is a, a remarkable bounty. I mean, holy shit. Bountiful. Incredible. I'm gonna get fucking fat, dude. You guys keep getting me this stuff and I keep eating it. Dude, I don't know how the fuck Dr. Disrespect did that shit. Didn't he wear a wig or was that his actual real hair? Because it was hot as fuck in there, dude. Then don't eat it. Yeah, fuck no, dude. Of course I have to eat. That can be poisoned. Be careful. It's true. Anyway, I gotta run an ad. Look at that. That was so much. That was satisfying as shit, dude. Hold up. Top of the hour, every hour. Gotta run a 60 second ad break right now. All right, let's keep going. Every time a girl sends me a fucking letter, they always fucking cologne this shit, dude. Okay? I'm on to you. You feel me? This is not... You don't... You don't fool me. Lauren. Okay, let's read this. Hi, Hassan. We are two best friends who both enjoy your content and have been provided with many laughs, all thanks to your streams. We wanted to send you something and figured you'd probably enjoy this necklace. However, we are unsure if the That's chain nice. is long enough, but considering how tiny your head is, your neck shouldn't be all that large. Anyway, thank you so much for making our 2020 a little more tolerable. While this year has been shitty, you have helped make it better with your content. Sending you all the best. 
Love, Lauren, and Gabby. P.S. Welcome to the pack. Instagrams as well. Oh my god. <gasps> Certified himbo. Sticker. Don't do it. Leave them on red. I can't. I already read their message. This is wonderful. Thank you. A gray wolf so that I can show my dedication to the Turkish ultra nationalist party. Um, allowing all of the, uh, the fucking weirdos on the internet who say that I am a, a secret uh, fascist sympathizer. To finally, uh, you know, have proof. Fuck, why is this on the left side? What? I don't think I've ever clasped, like, clamped on a Three necklace from the left side world, before. That was great. strange. Thanks for always having a great stream. Thank you. And, and thank you for the sticker as well. I am a certified himbo. Thanks, Hassan, but honestly, I think him going to watch other streamers. Okay. Do I check the Instagrams? Okay. I mean, you posted it. We got to look now. Not we as in, like, everybody here, but, you know, I, I at least got to check it now. <sighs> what the fuck? Oh, I spelled it wrong. Nice perfume, by the way. Yes, they are 15. <laughs> They're not 15. Chill. I don't know how to... I can't read, dude. 